Ho ho, boardies, welcome to Borderline Games. I'm Gareth, and this is Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. Episode 19. Uh, my hero's dead. There she is. Uh, hit on the head with a the bat. There it is. Uh, just like in the arcade uh, game in Jabberwock Park, uh, that uh, Monokuma said was the uh, motivation for murder, so it's got to be connected somehow. Uh, and I think we're just about to go do that and uh, explore the arcade game uh, for the second time. Uh, so someone in the arcade uh, in the arcade game <clears throat> was killed with a baseball bat, uh, and now it's happened to uh, Mahiro. So I guess I feel like we've got everything from here, right? Oh, I should ask. Oh, Shiaka about the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Okay, cool. Hey, Shiaki, I have something I want to ask you. Are you okay right now? Um. Are you done investigating here already? Huh? I think I've finished investigating once uh, through. Yep. Then let's go. Go? So. Do you want to know about Twilight Syndrome? Right? Then I should let... Uh, I, th I should... I think... I think I'm having a stroke. I think you should actually play it yourself. So, let's go! Yeah, you're right. I guess she doesn't know that I've already played it. With Shiaki leading, I left the beach house. And headed over to the Jabberwock Park where that unsettling arcade machine was placed. But I never... I never expected that person to be waiting there. Oh, Nikita, how'd you get away? Why, hello there, Hajime and Shiaki. I'm glad you guys are doing well. Uh, Nagito! <laughs> it feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to you two like this. Even though we haven't spoken for just a few days. Why? Why are you here? Well, well there's no need to worry about a, a loser like me. <sighs> More importantly, did you hear apparently my hero got killed this time? Jeez, how horrible. She was the heart of our group, always spirited and very eager to talk. For her to be killed. If only I could have taken her place, I would have gladly done it. Amazing. But still, you guys will be able to shine because this outcome is full of despair, right? That's right. No matter how dark the despair, hope can shine much brighter and stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Though, I do feel bad for my hero. This is quite exciting. How will everyone overcome despair this time? Looks like you feel no remorse. Jeez. Oh, jeez. As usual, he's acting so crazy, he's almost pissing me off. So why are you here? Who told you about my hero? Now, now. You, you don't have to make that scary face. I'll tell you, you know? Monami. It's Monami. Yes, it was me. You? Why'd you untie Nagito without anyone's permission? Did, did I do bad? I just wanted everyone to get along and, you know, cooperate. Uh, cooperate. There's no way we'll get along. You already know what kind of guy he is. Yes. But fighting among friends is what Monokuma wants you, to, wants you guys to do. Now, now. Hajime, you should forgive her. Monomi is making a valid point too. You have no right to say that. But now's not the, not the time for friends to fight. There's going to be a class trial for Mahiro, right? That's right! Th that's right! That's why everyone must work together and have Monokuma! Enough! Enough already, just go away already! <laughs> Understood! Nagito, you two, hurry up and get lost. Man. Well, I'm a little lonely, but I guess I'll do that. I already saw the true ending of that game, so there's really no reason for me to be here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's a true ending that we didn't see last time. True ending. Now then. So, although I might be a little late, I too will be uh, will do some investigating for a while. I'll try to be useful in my own way. Hmm. Who do you want to be useful to? The killer or us? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I will always be on the side of hope. 
more I talk to him, the creepier he gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. If he didn't exist, this situation would be a lot easier to deal with. Damn it. Hey, hey. Hashime, let's just move on and start the game. You're right. Alright. Even if I do play this, I might just get a game over again. Before I start, I should ask Chiaki if there's a walkthrough for this game. Oh, okay. Hey, can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this game? Huh? Huh? I feel like I'm just going to repeat the second day and fourth day. Oh, I feel like I'm just going to repeat the, uh, the second day and fourth day again. Then get a game over. So if there's a walkthrough, can you tell me about it? Well? When you get a game over, that's the walkthrough. Huh? What do you mean? Want me to tell you? You want me to tell you? I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. A hidden command? See? You should have seen it too, you know. That thing that was displayed on the game over screen. Is that... Down 5. Are you talking about the message that says down 5? That's right. Just so you know. That doesn't mean you down five drinks, five drinks or something. It means you have to press down five times. Then the hidden command is. Yep. You just have to press the down button five times. Then you're on the title screen. When you're on the title screen. If you do that, you should be able to go to the real game. So that's the trick, just as expected of the ultimate gamer. Nope. It doesn't have anything to do with being a gamer. This is just, you either get it or you don't. In fact, Nagito got it on his own, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. Come on, give it a try. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Monokuma Soft. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so now I've got to press... Oh, I guess it's going to do it for me. I need to press down five times on the title screen. All right, let's do this. Open the new door to Twilight Syndrome murder case. Please press down five times with your own hands. Okay. Ooh, truth edition. The screen has changed. She was right. This is the real game, Twilight Syndrome, Murder's Case, Truth Edition, Murder Case is Truth Edition. I should start it up. I need to find out what, uh, why this is a motive. I'll start it if I press the enter key, right? Now then, let's begin. Twilight Syndrome, Murder Case, uh, oh, let's begin Twilight Syndrome, Murder Case. Please press the enter key with your own hands. Easy. We open with a specific murder case, a tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that the girls attended. Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police ruled that the incident was the work of a pervert who snuck into the school grounds. However, there was a secret behind the incident. Even before the janitor first discovered the body, there were students who witnessed the crime itself. The students were five high school girls. They didn't want to get involved in the incident, so they tried to hide the fact that they were the first to discover it. However, tragedy befell those girls. Several days later, the after the incident, one of the five girls, Girl E, is murdered by someone. What in the world happened at this once peaceful academy? By playing the missing first day and third day, you'll be able to understand that mystery. All the answers you seek are hidden in this truth edition. Will you be able to reach the truth? Now then, let's start with the first day when it all began. Interesting. Alright then, let's start. Any day now? Okay. First day. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry for keeping you all waiting. Jeez, we're gonna go home late because we had to wait for a slowpoke girl A. Come on, girl B. You don't have to be like that. you don't have to be that mad. <laughs> hey, don't go taking photos without permission. People might mistake us for good friends. I I'm not your friend. What? There's no way I'd ever be friends with a nasty, trashy pig shit like you. <laughs> but 
the way girl bee treats people, even loan sharks. Uh, looking to collect wood. Uh, looking to collect would get sick of their stomach. Sick to their stomachs. Huh? Is girl E here yet? Ah, apparently she forgot something. She told us to wait for just a little longer. She can't find her school swimsuit. Her swimsuit, huh? Maybe it got stolen. It's a stolen? You don't know. A pervert has been spotted in the area recently. Hehe. <laughs> you should be super careful. Girl A, a chubby weakling like you would make perfect prey. Hey, stop it. Girl A's getting really scared. <laughs> it's fun to bully Girl A. What was that sound? It sounded like glass breaking. It sounds like it came from second floor. Let's go. Okay. Uh, what's that say? Preparation room. Uh, okay. Puff, puff, puff. <laughs> Girl E, what happened? I, I don't know. I walked by the front of the music room just now. And then I suddenly heard the sound of glass breaking. Is, is someone in there? That's what I think, but... I think the door is locked. I can't get it open. You're right. It's locked. Did someone lock it from the inside? Is someone really in there? Um, if we use the key from the teacher's lounge, we can open this door, right? I'll go to the teacher's lounge and get the key for the music for the music room. The teachers are probably gone by now, so I'm sure we can bring the key over in secret. But I have a bad feeling about this. Okay. I found the key. Nobody was there, so it was super easy to get. But let's open it right away. Freak. Okay. Girl A, you lead the way. Huh? But me? Come on, hurry, hurry. Oh. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Someone's dead. S someone's laying on the floor. Th this... She's not laying down. She's dead. D dead? That's impossible. Why? Yeah! L lower your voice. They might still be nearby. N nearby? I mean, this looks like someone murdered her. Murdered? Huh? Seriously, shut up. What's going to happen if the killer notices, notices us? What should we do? What should I do? I see. So that's what happened. I found it. The killer's escape route. Escape route? Could it be? <laughs> the fish tank's broken. Why? Ah, the window is broken. The sound we heard from the entrance hall was probably the window breaking. Someone probably locked the music room door from the inside and after killing this girl. They broke the window and escaped outside. Looks like she got hit by something when she died, but I can't seem to find anything bloody here. What happened to the weapon? Did the killer take it? So, the killer just ran out the window. But, if they wanted to run away, they could have opened the window. Why did they have to break it? They were probably trying to leave in a hurry. Look, there's evidence. The fish tank by the window is tipped over and all the gravel is scattered. They must have been ac accidentally tipped I don't know. They must have accidentally tipped it over when they were frantically trying to get away. Obtain truth bullet. Broken fish tank has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay. It's not too high to jump from the second floor, so maybe they thought that it'd be safer if they, uh, they'd been using the hallway. But, but is that really it? 
I mean, to lock the door, you have to either lock it from the inside of the music room or use the lounge key. Oh, when I went to get the music room key, it was in the teacher's lounge. So the killer wouldn't have had time to return the key before they broke the window. Then the door could have been locked from the inside, which means the killer was inside the music room. Also, to get outside from the mu music room, they'd have to... They need to have passed by us in the entrance hall. But we didn't see anyone pass by. Which means the killer's only escape route was this window. Obtain truth bullet. Killer's escape route has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. It's probably that pervert I heard about. He's the one who snuck inside the school grounds. Huh? My school swimsuit was stolen. I couldn't find it anywhere. Then the pervert who stole Girlie's uh, school swim shoot, swim shoot, swim suit, also murdered that girl over there. They probably locked the music room so they could rape her. Jesus. But well, she ended up resisting. So they frantically tried to get away, broke the window and escaped. I'm not buying it. Obtain truth bullet. Stolen school swimsuit has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. It not it bad if we stay here much longer? I mean, I don't want to get involved in something like this. And the killer might still be around too. That's bad. Uber bad. We better hurry up and run. But, but, don't we have to report this to the police? Don't you know what happens when you report this kind of stuff to the police? You become the prime suspect just because you found the body first. I definitely don't want that. I can't remember which girl uh, was hit by the bat. I'm assuming it was girl A. Yeah, it'd be best if we left this room. How we found it, just lock the door, leave everything how it was. Okay. Uh, hey, please wait, don't leave me. Now loading. Third day, okay. Girl D. Sorry, did I make you wait? So what's up? You asked me to meet here. Don't tell me you're going to confess your love to me. Huh? What happened? Um, I want you to look at this photo. On the day of the incident, I found this when I peeked into the uh, next door classroom as I was going home. And I couldn't help taking a picture. What do you think these br uh, broken vase pieces mean? That sound we heard from the entrance hall wasn't the sound of window breaking. What? What is this? I, I don't know anything about this vase. And if that's the case, the killer didn't escape from the window. S seriously, I don't know anything. Oh, I see what's going on. It's okay. I made sure to throw it all away. Huh? If anyone found it, you'd be in trouble, right, girlie? Are you trying to blackmail me? <laughs> of course not. That's not what this is about. If there's something you're hiding from me, I want you to say it. I mean, we're friends, right? You... You didn't say anything either. I knew you know. I knew that girl who got killed was tormenting you. Huh? No, she wasn't just uh, tormenting you. She was seriously making your life a living hell. That bitch. Was in your ph uh, photography club back in middle school, right? She was probably jealous of your talent, so she... I'm supposed to be your best friend. If you told me, none of this would have happened. Girlie, don't tell me you... That bitch. Thought she could do anything she wanted because of her family's influence. And I just couldn't stand it anymore. You know, at first I tried to talk to her. But that bitch started t talking shit about how she'd target me next time, so... I felt a sudden rage, and before I knew it, I was choking her. And then she lost consciousness. But things would have been worse if she woke up, so... That's why I had to do something about it. But that's... It's not my fault. Or yours. It's all her fault. Ah, 
Girly. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Kaya. That bitch. Girly, was it? Word is she was with her on the day of the incident. Hmm, what's this here? Looks like she threw away something here. What was it? What the hell is this photo? This vase is... Could it be the sound of breaking glass was actually this? If it wasn't, why did she try to secretly get rid of this? That bitch, what the hell did she do to my little sister? Looks like I need to ask her a few questions, and if that bitch really did that... I will never... I will never forgive her! <laughs> so... Guy F hit her with it. Baseball bat, maybe? Looks like this is the end. That's right. That's the truth edition. The incident's first day and third day are depicted in it. Yep. Yep. Now you've filled in all four events from the first day to the fourth day. Hey, Shiaki. What do you think of the characters in this game? Um... You mean like Girl A and Girl B? Their names make no sense and they've no romantic chemistry either. Or either. N no, not that. While you were talking, looks like the ending staff roll started. Staff roll? Perhaps. You should be able to find out what you want to know if you look at it properly. Oh, hang on, was that properly or probably? No, probably. What I want to know is on this staff roll. Producer Monokuma. 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 <laughs> Sumiku. Hi oh, Hyoko Saito. Kursuyu. Kuzuyu. Producer Supreme Monokuma. Oh, wait, just now. See? See? Didn't I tell you? What you want to know is going to be on there. Miracle! Yay! Congrats, Miracle! Congratulations! You have finally beaten Twilight Syndrome Murder Case! <laughs> now that you guys have played this game through to the end, you should already know. That's right, the game is a non-fiction game based on an actual past incident. Is that true? By the way, non-fiction means an original story based on historical fact or records. Hey, answer my question. But, even in this non-fiction, you guys probably don't remember it. Well, that can't be helped. The school life you no longer remember is the setting for this story. Our school life. At any rate, congratulations. Now then... As for the ending prize that I'm supposed to give you as a reward for clearing the game, I won't give it to you! Ending prize? There was only one ending prize and I already gave it to the first person who beat it! Too bad. <laughs> How disappointing! Did you say ending prize? Like, I was told the same thing when I beat it too. Man, I was too late. If I'd known something like this was going to happen, I would have played the game sooner. Obtain Truth Bullet. Ending prize has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. But the ending prize isn't the problem. It's what Monokuma said earlier. He mentioned how he used our school life as the setting for the game. Just as I thought. So it's connected to that this time too. But is it really... Is it really true? We were already living our school lives. And our memories were completely taken. Is something that crazy actually possible? Then what did they do to us? You... It looks like there's something on your mind. Huh? Monokuma probably said the same thing to everyone else who's beaten this game. That this game is non-fiction. That it's the missing link 
that existed in our forgotten school memories. So do you believe it? Do you really believe our memories were taken? We don't know, but instead of thinking about that right now, we've got to focus on solving this mystery first. Whether we believe it's the motive or not, it's clear that a murder did occur. Did occur. If that's the case, then I need to question them directly. If I do that, I might be able to learn something. Um. You're talking about the people whose characters appear in the game, right? Then I will go too. That's right. If I get some information from them, I might be uh, find out about something. About the mystery behind my hero's death. About whether this game is true or not. And if we really had our school memories taken away. Hey, hey. Then let's hurry and ask the others. <laughs> and while you're at it, ask them how it feels to be characters in the game. Leave it to me. Ah. Oh. Ah. Also, if you want to gather your thoughts about the contents of the game, talk to me any time. I see, thanks. That's a huge help. I don't know where, the, where they are right now, but we won't learn anything if we just stand here. Alright, let's go! Hello there. Why, hello there, Hajime and Shiaki. We meet again. The timing's too perfect. You were waiting here, weren't you? You caught me? Ah, so you caught me. Wouldn't it be best if we travelled together? If you've beaten the game, we must think similarly, right? No, maybe I'm being a little too conceited. A guy like me thinking similarly to you guys. It's okay, just make your point. Well... There was an airport on the first island, right? I told them to meet up there. Them? You don't know? Why, the characters who appeared in the Twilight Syndrome murder case, of course. The girls might be busy with their investigations, too. It'd be a waste of time if we both questioned them, no? Bye now. If you want to hear what they might have to say, you should come with me. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys. What should we do? Hmm, well, I guess the only thing we can do is go. I guess you're right. Okay, so that is three. Which suggests I need to go the other way, right? Uh, oh, who's that? Oh, that's you. Chiaki. Not two. One where the airport is, I think you said, right? Um. Uh, airport is pretty... Pretty sure it's this way. That's the beach. We go. Uh, all right. Ah, Hajime, over here. Mikan, Ibuki, Hiyoku, or are all here? Um. The names on the staff roll for Twilight Syndrome murder case were uh, Sumiki, Koizumi. Seonji, Miodo, Sato, Kuzuryu. <laughs> I really wanted Fuyuhiko to come too, but he locked himself in his cottage and wouldn't come out for me. Sorry. So unfortunately, he's absent. It's probably be because I'm so incompetent. I apologize. What? Huh? It's okay to be absent. I thought you said we'd get be executed if we didn't come. Executed? <laughs> I mean. You said Monokuma had something important to tell us, right? We came because you told us that. <laughs> Sorry. That was a lie. <laughs> uh, a lie? Gah. You tricked us. What the? What the heck? Jeez. Fine, then I'm leaving. Wait. Can you wait until we've finished our business with you? Right, Hajime? This is like I'm on the same team as Nagito. No, I can't focus on that right now. I have to get information from them. Uh, let's speak to Yoko first. Not fair. That's not fair. I can't believe you actually tricked us so we'd come to this place. Huh. I have nothing to say to impudent, regular people like you. Regular? Hmm. She's not. 
she's right that I might be a regular guy, but I also have an ultimate talent, or at least I should have one. Okay. Didn't learn anything. Hey, do you have a minute? There's something I wanted to ask you. Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, Mekan? Um, no, since we said we weren't going to play that game. Also, I'm not really good at video games. I'm pretty slow, and I panic instantly. Her timid tone, I'm pretty sure that girl A character was like that too. Hey, hey. Anyway, can you tell me about your relationship with Mahiro? <laughs> relationship with Mahiro? Well... I... I first met her, um, when we first gathered at the classroom with everyone else. And after arriving at the island, I did have a few conversations with her, but... Uh, oh, could it be? Did Marie... Did Mahiro hate me? <laughs> uh, that's definitely it. She hated me. She doesn't know anything. No, it's more like she doesn't remember anything. But even though she hated... Oh, but even though she hated me, for her to actually invite me, she must have been a really kind person. Hmm? Invite? Ah, uh, um, Mahiro invited me this morning. This morning? She, she looked very serious and she was wondering if you could all meet up so we, she could discuss something. Oh, maybe Mahiro played the game? But, but I already had plans to go to the beach, so I had to decline because I needed to prepare for that. And when I did, she made this lonely face and said that she'll reschedule for another day. <laughs> but, but if only I went with her, this wouldn't have happened. Whoa! Mahiro invited Mikan. Why? Hey, Ibuki, can I ask you something? Why you? Bring it on! Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case? Aww. Well, that's a computer game, right? I'm basically awful at those things. Ibuki's a tough girl, so I don't touch anything pa powered by electricity except electric guitars. I'm pretty sure that's a lie, but now's not the time to really dwell on something like that. Her unique tone and hyper energy. There was a character like that in the game, too. Let me ask you one more thing. What's the relationship between you and Mahiro? <laughs> huh? You mean that in a perverted way? No, in a normal way. Aww. Well, even if you ask me that, Ibuki's encounter with Mahiro was... Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Ah! When I asked Mahiro this morning to go to the beach with us, she made this real disappointed face. A disappointing face? I see. Yeah. I see. But disappointing varies depending on the person. Ibuki associates it with department store rooftops. What? Let's stay focused on Mahiro. That's totally it. it turns out Mahiro had some business too, and she wanted to invite me to that instead. She said something like, I was thinking about meeting with everyone, but if you already have plans. Um, do you know what she meant by everyone? Aww. Nope, I didn't ask. I see. Mahiro invited B Ibuki. Why? I see. I see. Looks like we've obtained some pretty valuable testimonies based on that. It seems like Mahiro also beat that game. But why Why do you know that? You don't know? If she hadn't, she wouldn't have chosen these people to talk to. Because she beat the game, she talked to the people uh, who appeared in that game. <laughs> Just like that we're doing right now. Just like what we're doing right now. But still... But, in her case, it was much more serious. Probably. I you mean? She was forced to learn that she was involved in that game. That's true. But I'm surprised. I never thought Mahira would play that game. It's true, that was unexpected. Nagito, didn't you tempt her into playing that game? Huh? Huh? What? I remember. Anyway, what happened to Mahiro? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? Huh? Why do you know that? Wait, you tempted her, right? Just like you did to me. How mean. Tempt? That's a rude thing to say. No, that's wrong. That's disrespectful towards my hero. Isn't that right? There's no way her feelings would change just because a useless guy like me tempted her. At that time, she was already considering giving that game a try. All I did was give her a little push. It's obvious. That's all it was. But what the heck? Well. But more importantly. 
Isn't it better if we listen to what she has to say? She's been quiet as ever. I'm counting on you, Hiyoko. Hey. If Mahiro spoke to everyone who appeared in the game, she would have talked to you too, right? Well, Hiyoko? Oh yeah, of course she was running away. <laughs> <laughs> she never talked to me at all. Man, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. Bye. So, I'm just going to go back to my cottage right now. Uh, hey, Hiyoko. Ignoring my voice, Hiyoko ran away as though she were avoiding me. <laughs> Looks like it's okay she, to say she ran away. Yeah, she's clearly suspicious. That's pretty much decided. Decided? Now then. Regardless, it looks like we're finished here. So why don't we part ways for now? There's still something I need to investigate. Bye now. I'll see you again later. Ah, hey! What the heck is his problem? Even his exit was pushy. Jackie, what should we do? Should we go back to the scene of the crime one more time and investigate? It's very important to investigate the scene of the crime. But let's go over to Mahiro's cottage first. Mahiro's cottage. If she beat that game, it's best if we investigate there, I think. She might have that. Oh, the ending prize. If that's the case, I'll go with you. You're okay with that, right? Uh. That's your cue to say yes. Okay. So, back to Mahira's cottage. Dun, dun, dun. What are we going to find at Mahira's cottage? Uh, which one is hers? No. No. Is it? No, not there. Oh, is it this one? Yeah. The door looks unlocked. Phew. Moving after you're told will be too third rate. So, I made sure to be one step ahead. However, removing what's inside is a huge no-no. There are others who want to investigate too. Okay, I guess I should go inside. Well, I see something. Compared to my room, the cottage had a somewhat pleasant smell wafting through the room. That proves Mahira was here. But she's not coming back. Um... Then I should. Hmm? Try looking for a naughty book. But why? Yep. No, no. I was only kidding. Kidding? Are you that kind of person? Jeez, well, at least I don't feel nervous anymore. Wait, could that be the reason she said that? But it looks like we don't have to. Uh, we don't need to search for it. Check out that thing on top of the bed. On top of the bed. Right. We need that. Boom! Another little surfer. All right. So the thing on top of the bed. Oh, is this uh, an envelope with something that, to blackmail in it? Could it be? This might be it. The ending prize Monokuma gave to the first person who beat that game. Um, What's inside that envelope? Let's find out. And we'll find out next time on Borderline Games. So, Jackie's dead. We've played the game. It's something to do with the characters in that game. We've talked to some of the characters in Danganronpa. Um... Uh, who we think are girl A, B, C. Uh, and now we'll find out the rest. We'll find out what's in that envelope. See you guys. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye.